Welcome to our ProTech tutorial video. In today's video, I wanna walk you through everything you can do with the ProTech app on your cell phone. So if you've seen any of our recent content, we've put out a bunch of videos related to creating your YouTube channel and growing it just using your cell phone. The most important thing obviously with creating YouTube content is recording videos. The thing with your cell phone, most of the native apps that come with your phone are just okay. They're not phenomenal. They allow you to record videos, but they don't allow you to customize many of the settings. So with ProTake, it's a different story. There's a ton you can change to improve the quality of your videos with the app. I'm currently using just the free version of the app, but while I'm going through the tutorial, I'll be able to show you what's available with the free version and the paid version of the app. It just won't let me record videos using the premium features. I have this installed in my iPhone 12 mini as well as my Google Pixel 3. Honestly, the app works basically the same on both iPhone and Android. So whichever phone you have, you'll be able to basically understand and see how it works with this tutorial video. So let's check it out. Okay, so now let's open up the ProTake app. So here's the basics of the app. I'll show you everything that you have here. Up in the top left-hand corner is the resolution and frames per second. In the bottom left-hand corner, you have the audio volume, the current battery level. I know the battery is getting low on my phone. How much space you have available on your cell phone right now. So there's 99 gigabytes here. If you want to turn the, the flashlight, the flash essentially on in the video, the time that you have recording, grid lines, the mode that you're gonna to change to record. Then the next thing is the rotation of the app. So obviously right now we're in landscape. And then there's a couple other functionalities I'll get into in just a second along the right hand side. So let's now just go through each one of them one by one. So clicking on the resolution, so you can go down to 720, could go up to 4K. You can also choose the bit rate. So high qual how high quality you want the recording to be. So at 1080p, you could actually be recording at 32 megabytes per second or up to 4K. Um, then from there, you can choose the frames per second. So 24, 25, 30, 60 frames per second. Let's change to 30. It also has a time lapse functionality as well. Okay, so in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to have the audio levels. If you click on that, you're going to see the level and then you're also going to see the microphone. So your phone, the external microphone or Bluetooth. So for example, I don't think I'll be able to select anything because there's nothing else connected. But if I do connect a lab mic, let's do that right now. And then if that connects, then you can see now I'm actually recording with the external microphone. I could change back to the phone if I chose. Here's the external microphone. Then with the levels, you know, I could adjust based on, you know, what makes sense for the new microphone that I'm using or just put it on auto gain. Let's unplug the lav mic, then moving on. So here's what it'll look like if I actually turn on the, the torch, the flashlight, whatever you wanna call it. Moving on from there, let's go through the different uh, grids, aspect ratios and whatnot. So right now I'm recording in 16 by nine. Obviously if it was for Instagram, maybe I just want a square. The other thing is, do I want a safe area? So for some reason, if I think I might wanna crop something, you know, making sure that something is not gonna be cut out. I have an idea what to make sure to keep on frame. Also, you have the grid for thirds. You have the crosshair, so here's the center. And then you have the horizon. So what you're gonna see here, clearly just to get the shot and show some depth of field on my desk, obviously my, my phone's a bit um, twisted right now. So you can tell if I were to do something like that then you know it's more of now it's getting closer to level. But back to where we had it, you can turn that back off, get out, maybe I'll leave the thirds up. And then from here, the rotation, this is just to get rid of everything you have on the screen. Maybe you're you know doing a screen recording or something like that. The other thing is if you wanna make sure that the, whatever you have on screen is zoomed in well, what you can essentially do is, you know, click, oh, not that one, sorry. If you click here, it's gonna just, just change the display as a 2X zoom. So if I wanna zoom in and focus on R2D2, I could click, be like, yep, yeah, okay, he's in focus. One last thing in the top right is if maybe you're recording in bright sunshine, and you can't see your screen very well, you can increase the brightness. Let's turn that back off. If I wanted to, so clearly I have two different cameras here, so I could turn on the ultra wide lens if I wanted to, or I can go back to the normal wide lens. If I wanted to show myself, 
I could turn that around like so. So are you learning to use the ProTech app to record videos for your YouTube channel? If so, you should definitely check out our free YouTube masterclass. It's an hour long free training with tons of tips to help you run YouTube in 2021. If you're interested in signing up, I'll put a link down below in the description. So to change the settings, so we're on auto right now, which is the main thing for the free version. The other things that I can do though, is so if we go to pro, there's obviously, you have the shutter speed and ISO along the left-hand side. You can adjust the shutter speed completely manually if you wanted to, to like normally we would at 30 frames per second, record at 1 60th. You know, you can adjust the ISO, the white balance, the lenses. So if we wanted to say, you know, cloudy or tungsten, you know, we could make those changes like so for the white balance. And then you have, you could actually manually go to a manual focus if you wanted, or you can manually zoom as well. I think that's the majority of the functionality. Ah, and then so you have, for example, you have zebras, false color, and focus peaking to make sure that, you know, all the settings are set correctly within the, the pro version. And then one other cool feature that I think only this has, I'm not sure others are, is basically, you know, the, the portrait option that you normally have for photos with an iPhone, you can actually do with video. So let me show you how that might look. So if I have, you know, Yoda right here, it's gonna, and then what I can do, it's not held very steady. And then you can even adjust the aperture. So not as blurry to, you know, as blurry as possible. Obviously being that it's a Lego and other things, this isn't gonna work as well as it maybe would with a person. Okay, so from there, one of the cool things here are the different looks. So what you can do here is if you click on the colorful circle like so, you need to download the cinematic looks. Okay, so here are the different looks. It takes like three seconds to download. You can see that a lot of them are locked, being that I'm on the, the free version of the app, but you can click on and change quite a few other ones. The other things, if you click again, you can essentially choose how much, you know, at 100% effect, at zero, or at 200 to further use that, that particular look. So you have Pinky, you have Kodak. So if you wanna see, you know, the different adjustments that you could make with that. The great thing with this, if you find a look that you like, you can record something with this app and just be ready to upload directly to say Instagram without having to do any color grading separately. And then, so here's, you know, that one, you know, there's ones for, for black and white, et cetera. Let's go back to the normal, turn that off. And then from there, let's see, I think I need to actually turn this around to get this to work. I haven't tried this yet, but there is some, there's like a beauty look. So I don't know what that did. Did you notice anything? Okay, so I guess, I don't know. I don't know exactly the difference, but I guess I'm prettier and with a beauty mode on. Let's turn that back off. Let's turn the camera around and back like so. Okay, what else do we have left on here? The settings. So obviously here, upgrade to ProTake Plus. I have not done that, that yet. Cinematic looks, data management, camera presets, accessories, blah, blah, blah. In the record settings, there's a couple of things here. So the color space, do you want 8-bit, 10-bit, uh, or HDR? So how many different color options to have potentially better quality videos? Down here, you have the stabilization. So right now it's set to standard. I can turn it off, cinematic, or extreme. The one thing is they're going to be some latency or lag. So if you're moving around, the, the camera is going to take a second because it's trying to essentially stabilize your shot. I'd probably just leave it on standard. I think the iPhone does a pretty good job of stabilization. And then there's a handful of other things if you're on the paid version of the app. Oh, and then one last thing I, you know, I didn't even mention earlier. So obviously to choose the exposure and focus and automatic is just touching anywhere on the screen. So obviously if I'm focused on the droid at the very front of the screen. On the left, you know, you can see everything further back is out of focus or the opposite of the fighter in the back in focus, then the droid on the left-hand side is out of focus. That's essentially how it's going to adjust the exposure and the focus. This is a little bit different than Filmic Pro that we looked at previously where those things are independent of each other. The Where you want to expose the video and as far as the lighting and then where you want to have the focus of the video as well those things can be independent of each other as opposed to here they both work 
you know, together. Okay, so what do you think? Is this better than the current app you're using to record videos on your cell phone? If you want to check out another great option for a cell phone camera app, check out our Filmic Pro tutorial video up above right here. Also, we have a video on tips for recording amazing videos for YouTube with your iPhone that I'll link to down below. Hope to see you in those in future videos. Bye-bye.